Good morning, everybody. Here it is, uh, Tuesday, January 16th, and I uh, got a maintenance, maintenance day here at Mansfield. So I'm going to be doing a brake test on our lovely old T bars. So uh, with this brake test, what I'm doing is uh, ensuring that the uh, T bars have proper brake force and that they will not slip with a predetermined amount of torque. So on both these T-bars, that is 60 foot-pounds. So I'll show you how that's done. This is something I do monthly on all the lifts. So this week I'm going to be doing uh, the T-bars course, and then I'll be doing the uh, chair lifts. So on modern lifts, generally a computer does this. On uh, these old girls, she'd be of the manual persuasion. So first thing I'm going to do is take the cover off the drive shaft here, and uh, once I get that off, I'll uh, show you how I conducted this magical brake test. So here we go. Okay, you can see I got my fancy pipe wrench here, and this is placed directly onto the drive shaft. I've got my torque wrench already set to 60 foot pounds, and we're just gonna give her a tug. Perfect. So we're just ensuring that uh, we've got the right holding value on these brakes, and this one's looking good, so. Basically, you put this back together, repeat the process on the other one, and then I will uh, start the lifts and uh, do our stopping distances. I do this every morning, but I just do an extra careful one with this, and we'll just make sure that our results are the same as the last one, and that uh, there's no discrepancies in our stopping distances. Also, uh, just to let you guys know that this lift is locked out, so it cannot be started because that would go terribly wrong if someone were to fire this up with this contraption mounted into it. Okay, so you can see here, we got a damaged spring box. So what happens is when people are abusive, you can actually break the line here. So by abusive, I mean like trying to stop on the trail and everything else. Otherwise, these lines seem to hold up very well. They're pretty tough stuff. So what I'll do is uh, pop this one off and I'll put one of our whew, brand new spring boxes on four here. So let's show you a closer look at the grep here. So the idea is basically the same as the chair left. The only, uh, well, the major difference being that there's no um, springs in this one. It's this um, bolt actually uh, pushes on the pin right here and this applies your force onto the jaw. So for these, I, 23 foot pounds is the uh, torque value and that uh, holds them in place and they really don't move much so all I'm going to be doing is break this jam nut back this one off loosen her off put the new one on get a torque wrench on it to 23 foot pounds and away we go so we'll get this swapped out okay so I got my measuring tape lined up this is approximately lined up with that back or sorry the uh, first shift so we'll just fire it up here. What we're going to be doing is stopping at that uh, first shift just off the bull wheel. And we'll check our distance here. Oh, nice stop, nice stop. So we'll wander down here. And we're looking at, eh, let's see, 15.6, 15.7, which is great for this lift. They're both fairly consistent. This thing was, what, 16.6, and this thing is well, about 15.6, so yeah, that's pretty good. We'll take that as a win. So I'm just gonna do a quick tour of the line on the snowmobile, make sure your alignment and everything's looking good, and then uh, these things will be all set for, uh, for a big day tomorrow. Sounds like we got some racing going on, so I'm sure these will be in demand. And then I'll uh, just drop a work order because if you don't document it, it didn't happen. Well, I should have done a before and after, but way. Look at this, eh? Just had a bunch of snow build up, all the natural we've been getting. So it was great to get the groomer in here and just give her a nice little cleanup. And for the ramp, she had iced up. But we got this cute little, uh, it's a 25 horse, uh, Kubota tractor with a little loader on it and got it in here and got her down to just where I want it. Tell you, looking pretty sharp if I do say so myself. Okay, so now I'm off to go a tidy up javelin. I just try to get around the uh, the motor rooms of the lifts and get her cleaned up nice. 
Woo, look at that perfect quarter I got. Should have been a groomer. <laughs> I can do it, I'm not overly great at it. But they sure are fun to drive, let me tell you. Uh, this particular one is a 2019 um, Piston Bully 400. So she's got the uh, tier four, so we got the tier four, tier five, tier five, sorry. It's got the uh, def in it. So she's a very clean machine. And uh, yeah, these things are just gorgeous to drive. I've got a real soft spot for Piston Bullies. That's it, I learned how to drive on a you, 2001 uh, Bombardier MP Plus, it was called. It's rocking the old school. You watch any ski movie from the hey, 80s hey, and 90s, uh, they'll see an MP kicking around it's somewhere. Like they were just a great nine. old machine. Cummings motors in it, and uh, just that um, perfect size for um, getting into tight spots. I, hey, don't get me wrong, I love the 400s. I've driven a couple 600s, they're really nice but they're almost a little too big for getting yeah, into some okay. of the uh, tight spots. Again, I'm sure better operators have a lot less trouble than I do, but you know what? What I find with these is I can really finesse it in. So knock on wood, I you know I try not to make it a hitting things. Not to say that I haven't, because I have. But uh, that's a, a story for another day. We'll get into that one. But uh, here we go. So let's see what I can clean up around here. Well, now here I am at Uplands, because you know, that one nice thing about working at one ski hill is uh, having your own business and then you get to go to another ski hill. So uh, here I am over at Uplands and the guys are doing a great job. This is uh, a small golf and ski club uh, just at Young Street and 407 in Vaughn slash Thornhill. I think Thornhill is the official address, but got a great little operation here. We um, installed this here down here beautiful magic carpet that was originally from Mansfield formerly the longest carpet North America it's now 360 feet long and just doing a great job out here and uh, guys have been making a ton of snow with these cold temperatures they actually made enough snow to open up their Christmas camps from Boxing Day through the holidays which is really good there's quite a few larger hills didn't have a chance to open that's Kyle he's one of my apprentices great kid. He's actually turned into a nice operator with that thing. So yeah, I'm just over here doing a once over on the uh, chair left in the carpet here, making sure everything's running well. Had a quick look at the groomer. They got a little leak in the back, so I need to get a gasket kit. So never a dull moment, let me tell you. But uh, just doing an inspection on the carpet, double checking splices here. Looking good. This has been such a great carpet for them. Really, like I said, really saved the day for their Christmas camps. So that is awesome. Paid for itself right there. Just want to thank everyone for watching. We'll see what tomorrow brings. Take care. See you on the next one.